Hi everyone, Dave from Daily Tech TV here with another Q&A session for you. And this is a brilliant question because I love talking about Apple Kit. This one's from Nishant Solanki. I hope that I've um, pronounced your name correctly. As usual, a very good video in good English. Thank you very much. My question, when do you think Apple will release the next generation Ivy Bridge MacBook Pros? March, question mark. And will it be a redesign? Please, please, please make a video. I added a please in there. Make a video on this. And do you think they will drop the optical drive? Recently, Mac Mini refreshed. They removed it in spite of it being a desktop home-based device. So what do you think? Awesome question. Love the question. First of all, uh, with regards to timing, when we will see the Ivy Bridge MacBook Pros, you mentioned March. Yes, it is expected that sometime during March, we will see the, the new redesigned or new launched MacBook Pros. And yes, I do think they will feature Ivy Bridge. I think it'll be around about mid-March as well, that's my guess. Will it be a redesign? Now this one's really difficult to answer. We've obviously got MacBook Pros and MacBook Airs at the moment, and there are a lot of rumors around that there's gonna be a 15 inch MacBook Air. Now if we've got a 15 inch MacBook Air, is there any need for the Pro range? So this is what I think, and this is only my guess, this is what I think is gonna happen. I think we're gonna see a 15 inch MacBook Air. And I think the MacBook Pro range, they may well drop completely, or phase it out at least. And I think they do this uh, for two reasons. One, the 15 inch MacBook Air will be so close to the 15 inch MacBook Pro that will there be any need for that MacBook Pro range? Secondly, I think we will see a redesign. And I think that they're gonna really push a lot of marketing budget and research and development budget into Thunderbolt, which will negate the need for all the extra ports that the MacBook Pro offer up. I mean, we, we hopefully won't need Firewire, one or two USBs will be suffice, and all of our peripherals and bits and pieces we add on to our laptops will be done via the Thunderbolt port. So I think we will see a complete redesign on not just the new 15 inch MacBook Air, but on the 13 and the 11 inch one as well, so that they're all very much the same design. They all offer up maybe one extra port. I also think they're gonna try and squeeze an SD card slot into the 11 inch one, so we've got SD memory card slots across the range. And I do think that they're going to be doing some sort of extra announcement alongside the MacBook Airs with regards to Thunderbolt. And I don't think they're gonna just say, no more MacBook Pros, I think they're just going to not launch another system and they'll phase it out by the end of the year. Now, I might be wrong, but if you've got that 15 inch MacBook Air as an option, are you really gonna buy the MacBook Pro? Maybe some Pro people would just for the Firewire, but if there was more stuff available for Thunderbolt, then there would be no need. I think people would transition across to new Thunderbolt devices quite quickly. So, with regards to optical device, I think that with 15 inch MacBook Air, definitely it won't have an optical drive. There's no need for it now. I've got an optical drive on my Mac Pro. I can't remember the last time I used it. I really can't. And when I have my MacBook Pro, I can't even remember using it once. So, get rid of the optical drive, doesn't bother me. If I need to author a DVD for anyone or a Blu-ray, I'll just invest in a, an external drive and connect that up when I need to write any discs. That's an easy option, and it means that they can really concentrate on the design and making these super sleek and ultra portable devices. And just, just imagine a 15 inch MacBook Air is going to have a, a fantastic screen, but yet still be ultra portable. That is going to be wicked, absolutely wicked. I wish I win the lottery by then because. I know I want one, but I can't justify one because I've got a 13 inch MacBook Air already, but I know I will want one. So that was an awesome question. Thank you very, very much for leaving that one. I love talking about Apple Kit. Um, I'm really excited actually for March coming up, really looking forward to it. So 
thanks again for posting the question. If you've got any new questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll try and answer them in a future video. Until then, enjoy your technology, and I will see you all in the next one.